did I just turn up in front of the camera before I sat here in my chair? The world will never know unless of course I exposed it. Okay, you saw the clip. Yes, I did righteously turn up before filming this video. Anyways, I'm here now. It's time to act professional and not goofy. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Lady Gaga mocked God while she was on stage, and she received instant judgment for it. During one of her performances, she was singing her blasphemous song, Judas, talking about how she's in love with the disciple that betrayed Jesus Christ, as well as saying that she is beyond repentance and that Judas is the demon that she clings to. Now take a look at what happened to her next on stage as she was performing this song. Shortly after, she gets severely injured as equipment falls on her head, giving her a concussion and forcing her to end her concert. Galatians 6 7 says, Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For those who have discernment, Lady Gaga's motive for mocking Jesus is very clear. She is one of the many puppets that the satanic societies use at their whim, exalting her music for the sole purpose of leading the masses to hell for eternity. Now I want you to think about this. The Bible says that there is power of life and death in the tongue. So these lyrics are actually putting a curse on her fans. Because when they're repeating her lyrics about being beyond repentance, they are sealing a curse in the spiritual realm for demons to keep them in bondage, ultimately steering them away from Jesus Christ. Everything is very planned in the occult and Lady Gaga is no stranger to Luciferianism. She has many ties to witches in the Hollywood industry, one of the famous being known as Marina Abramovic. Marina is famous for her spirit cooking dinners where she orchestrates rituals in order to contact demonic spirits. Lady Gaga and Marina have been spotted together at performance art dinners where they take photo ops to pretend to engage in cannibalism. She also did a very bizarre photo shoot with Marina in the forest, photographing herself completely naked as part of the humiliation ritual that Hollywood requires when they exalt you. The question many of you may be asking is, how does somebody go this far to engage in this level of satanic depravity? What does that progression look like? When it comes to these Hollywood puppets, there's a slow conditioning process that's orchestrated by human handlers working alongside with demonic entities. Their end goal in controlling these puppets like Gaga is to completely destroy your innocence, sear your conscience completely, and keep you in bondage to legions of demons in order to prevent you from ever coming to the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is diabolically orchestrated to keep you separated from God, because once you encounter the love of the Heavenly Father, you cannot be controlled by worldly mechanisms any longer. When you find purpose and acceptance in Jesus Christ, you are fully free from the matrix of Satan. That's why billions of dollars are pushed in the entertainment industry to enforce Satanism in the culture. It is so important for the powers that be to keep the masses in a state of enslavement, not only here on earth, but also eternity in hell, where they will be going one day. Yes, hell is a real place, and that's why these demons work overtime in order to make sure many people go there. About a decade ago, Lady Gaga was actually crying for help when she sold her soul. She was very aware of Satan's existence and even described the nature of demons in detail in one of these public interviews. Please do not forget that hatred or evil, whatever you want to call it, it's intelligent, it's smart, and it's invisible. It doesn't have a color, it doesn't have a race, it doesn't have a religion, it has no politics. It's an invisible snake. Lady Gaga also acknowledges that she was being tormented by a demonic spirit named Ryan and further explained that this entity travels with her as she goes on tour. She went as far as to contact a spirit medium and conduct a seance in order to communicate with this demon. We can clearly see the physical manifestations in her performances of what the spirit's goal was in using her, as you can see the dark imagery that she portrays in these concerts. Lady Gaga even said that the devil torments her with demonic dreams, as she's quoted saying in this Rolling Stone article, I have this recurring dream sometimes where there's a phantom in my home and he takes me into a room. Ropes are pulling her apart. The phantom says to me, if you want to stop hurting her and if you want your family to be okay, you will cut your wrist. When she explained the dream to her mother, she further details this. My mother goes, isn't that an Illuminati ritual? And I was like, OMG. And she would be right. It is an Illuminati ritual that she would eventually perform herself with her friend Marina Abramovic at her spirit cooking dinner. She continued to cry for help during this time, even going to a famous famous new age mystical occultist by the name of Deepak Chopra. And she comes to him saying that she was being tormented by the devil. She was quoted line for line saying, the devil's trying to take me. I had this dream quite recently that was so terrifying, so morbid and terrifying. And I called, um, I called Deepak Chopra, who I work with, and I was 
telling him my dream, terrified, that the devil, and I, I, the dream was so terrifying, I thought somehow a, a devil force was trying to take hold of me, a darkness. Mm. I, I guess I see devil and darkness as the same thing. And he laughed and told me that I was very creative. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what it represents. Learn to embrace, embrace my insanity. There is so much supernatural evidence that's clearly documented to show you that there are two kingdoms here in this world. The kingdom of God and the kingdom of the devil. This is the one topic that does not have a gray area whatsoever. Maybe you've heard of the Illuminati before and you're even aware of the satanic agenda that the elites are pushing. However, all of this knowledge means nothing if this doesn't open your eyes to the fact that there is a loving God out there who died for your sins and his name is Jesus Christ. He is calling out to you with open arms, inviting you into eternity in heaven. Well, how can you inherit heaven? Jesus tells us in John 3, 5, Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. When Jesus says to be born of water, he's speaking about the physical birth here on earth, which is a scientific indication of the amniotic fluid that surrounds the womb and eventually is present during childbirth. However, that is not enough. You also need to be born of the Holy Spirit in order to enter heaven. Well, how does one receive the Holy Spirit. This can only be received by believing that Jesus is Lord, believing that he died for your sins, and also repenting, aka confessing your sins before him and asking him to forgive you. I did this myself after renouncing my atheism over three years ago, and when I did this, I received a powerful encounter with God through his Holy Spirit. I felt the tangible presence of God to the point where I was sobbing uncontrollably. I will never forget that day. It was so powerful that it's been engraved in my memory since it happened over three years ago. It's why I do what I do now. God is calling you back home, and I pray that as the devil keeps exposing himself way too much in this hour, this would be your wake-up call to run back to the arms of the Heavenly Father. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you would like me to cover next. I want to give a big shout out to Reese for financially sewing into the ministry. If you want to sew into this ministry, you can with the link in the description. Another way you can sew financially into this ministry is by checking out my merch, which I've also included in the description. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. In a game, Jesus who I claim. Yeah, he reigns. Cross up on my chain. Brand new lane, heaven my domain. The world I gain, but it ain't do a thing.